Uh, non to politics, NDLEA raids senators' residence used for drug deals. The personal house of the senator in Jiarue, a Loring, the capital, the capital of Kuala State, has been raided in the recent past where drugs and illicit substances were recovered while two of his aides, Ibrahim Mohammed and Muhammad Yahaya, were arrested. National Drug Law Enforcement Agency has claimed it found hard drugs and other illicit substances when it raided the alluring home of the Kwara South Senator Oyelola Ashiru last February. And the LEA Director of Media and Advocacy, Femi Baba Femi, disclosed this at a press briefing in Abuja on Monday. The agency was responding to Mr. Ashiru's claim that it was ineffective and had, been, and had become compromised in his duty. The senator made the claim last week during the debate on the bill to establish the National Institute for Drug Awareness and Rehabilitation. Mr. Baba Femi said the agency was compelled to call the press briefing today because of an unfortunate development earlier last week during the plenary in the Nigerian Senate when some uncomplimentary, unfounded, defamatory remarks were made against the agency. He said while NDLEA acknowledged the great work of the Senate towards uplifting Nigeria and Nigerians, especially its support for the ongoing concerted efforts towards amendments of the Act establishing it, the agency was duty-bound to respond to the unprovoked attack against it by Mr. Ashiru during his contribution to the debate on the new bill. The agency said the agency waited for a whole week, hoping the senator would clarify his position on such a weighty allegation against it, but that when he did not do so, it, he, it was left with no option but to set the record straight. Mr. Baba Femi said, the personal house of the senator in Jiarue, Loring, the capital of Para State, has been raided in the recent past, where drugs and illicit substances were recovered while two of his aides were arrested. Based on credible intelligence and surveillance, which confirmed the senator's house was being used as a drug joint for drug dealers and users, the house was raided by our operatives at 1.30 p.m. on February 4, 2024, during which the two aides were arrested while a third suspect escaped arrest, Mr. Babafemi said. Mr. Babafemi said, aside from raiding Mr. Shiru's Loring residence, NDLEA personnel also received intelligence that some accomplices of the senator are dealing in illicit drugs in the Offa area, the senator's hometown. He noted that the agency raided the joints in the senator's hometown and one of the accomplices, Olua Toshin or Depitan, was arrested in connection with dealing in hard drugs. Let me start with you, George. <coughs> Very serious uh, situation here. And interestingly, this to um, get him released. He jumped bail and was in 2023, was later rearrested in 2024, charged to court, and he was prosecuted and convicted. And the NDLA is saying that, that they believe that the outburst of the senator during plenary was as a result of the frustrations you know, that they, he has encountered in the hands of NDLA. But that, that brings, a, brings a lot to mind and it begs a lot of questions. Well, um, as much as I wouldn't want to absorb, absorb um, the senator, Senator okay. Ashu mm. and his boys for, uh, as be, being complicit of what they are being accused of, because I do not have the evidence. But again, I, I want to ask, is it that after, a few weeks after Senator Ashu made statement concerning the NDLE at the National Assembly? That was last week. That last week. After then, they raided his compound. His the, house. the raid was done before now. No, they, like, they have, they have had some challenges before mm -hmm. now, but this particular raid that got two persons arrested yes. and one person escaped happened after this man had yes. made statements. Yes. Now you look at this is something that is happening between a strong individual 
and an agency, agency of the government. You understand? Like I said, I would not want to absolve the senator and his boys of wrongdoing when it comes to illicit drugs, peddling drugs, says and you know uh, uh, abusing drugs. I will, I don't know them that much, but I still want to understand that this is Nigeria. Maybe the agency is not happy with what the strong man of the Senate has said, which could affect them. And one way or the other is to, you know, rope them in. Yeah, yeah, this is possible. You cannot take it away. So you're now coming up with a conspiracy theory yeah, that yeah, these yeah, drugs might is, be planted. It is possible. It is possible. I'm not saying, so what I'm saying, my position here now is simple. Let those who have been arrested take into court. Let the court, I've always seen them as the arbiter. There is a reason why the judiciary was made one of the arms of government. Because... They understand the drafters of democracy knew that, like the Igbos will call it, mm. power tozo, mm. knew that you know people will always struggle, people will always have conflict in the course of you know going for this power. Therefore, there should be an arbiter, an independent arbiter, who is non partial, who will look at matter dispassionately and say, okay, this is the position of the law. So in this case, let the law take its course, let them investigate the matter. Because this is like this team accusing the other person, the other person accusing them, we have found this evidence, this and that against you. Let the court look into the matter. Yeah. But it's really an unfortunate situation that if a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, it still, it still stands somehow, will use his abode, his house, not just that he abuses a drug inside, privately. They use it as in they use the place, they sell the drug. People come into that compound to buy People stayed here to abuse the drug. I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't know if it goes well at all with me. I don't right. know. But let, final word on this is let the judiciary, the court, you know, investigate the matter and give judgment without fear or favor. All right. Honorable Church, what do you have to say to this story? It is unbelievable. It is surprising. Why do you say it's unbelievable? It's unbelievable because um, I don't think uh, this thing, the drug uh, agency, are telling the Nigerians after a senator presented a matter concerning the drug agency, the NDLA, in a plenary, and after that, they raided this house. It is confusing. They said they had raided the house, prior to this last one, they had raided the house sometime in, I think, February this year. And they kept it as a secret? Now, that, that I was coming to that. Why didn't they... Blow it out? Yes. Why yes. didn't they let the public know no. that this is the what question is again on? is, how come this intelligence is coming just a week, barely a week after? So, okay. so it if, doesn't if really, if you see, uh, the reason why I say the wrong should not continue being wrong, <laughs> like they shouldn't continue doing things the wrong way <laughs> and expect <laughs> to get a better result. It's not possible. Nigerians, we... Nigerians should try to do things right, at least for once. If you, as an agency, invade a senator, in short, a political office to hold that house, and find out that they are using that place for an illegal drug business, it is right that you let the public know. Let them know the person they've elected. This will stop wrongdoing. But you kept, they kept it hidden. And they came back again because he spoke at the plenary. And they came to attack. It's, that one is an attack. They came to attack him. And now they are telling us that they've done it. They've done the reading before. Why didn't we hear? Why wasn't it in public uh, 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 consumption? So what I am saying is let's the law take its course. Now, the, you, you are let, saying let, let the law let take, the law its, take course. its course. George is saying let the law yes, take its let course. let the law take its course. <laughs> if really it is true. All right. Because I know too well, you know, George is saying that judiciary is not better, that yes, they are trusted. As I know, as well as I know too well, <laughs> I know too well that the problem of Nigeria... Please do not cast as passion on the judiciary. It's anchored <laughs> on the judiciary. <laughs> When I say it, I don't say I'm it. not the politicians, which no, no, no. And, and you, you will say the, the that the politicians are not are part of the, the problem. Judiciary. Hold on, Churchill. That is what you they, will they, say. No, hold on, Churchill. Hold on, hold on. Because, uh, Churchill. You anyway. know what I'm saying is. No, hold on, Churchill. The, the judiciary is the problem, and apparently the politicians are the sense. 
and now we are we are we are dwelling you know this story now has come to both of you your doorsteps because both of you are politicians and this instance you are saying that you you you're questioning the story because NDLEA, the first raid, when they discovered this, they didn't make it open. Yes. Judges of the opinion that it could be possible that NDLEA could have actually been complicit in this because why are they raiding the senator's house after, after the senator lashed out at them during plenary? And then, and you're saying that this whole story, and George also said, why would the senator's house be used for such? That is unbelievable. And both of you are flabbergasted at this story. Have you forgotten so soon that some members of the National Assembly, political elites, have been fingered in line with insecurity and terrorism? George, are you aware of such accusations? Yes, yes, yes. Are you aware of such accusations yes. in, the, in, in this Nigeria? And uh, I mean, year after year, yes. a particular person in the National Assembly will be fingered. Mm. Some politicians, I mean, the top echelon mm. of politis, politicians yeah. or political class in Nigeria have been fingered over and over and over well, again. If you listen to and my nothing has happened. here, I said... So why, why would you be surprised no, 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 listen, if this let, story... Listen to my position. I said, because I am not aware... Because I do not have all the facts before me. Mm -hmm. I cannot absolve mm -hmm. the senator and those people working with him mm -hmm. of being complicit of what the NDLE is accusing them of. Right. I cannot absolve them. However, it is unbelievable that such a high profile man will use because I know what if it is about fingering you for uh, terrorism or even money laundering. Those ones I can easily agree to an extent. Even though we still want the law to take its course. And, but and we are talking about... Know, that know, a former, know. former governor has been accused of even housing terrorists in his house. No, 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 no listen. And I'm the fact talking, that the ransoms about, that we are being paid we are talking comes about, to him. I mean... We are, we are talking about the dangers of, the drug, uh, dangers of drug, drug usage. What NDLA has said here is that they are not just only abusing. Now, they are using that place for sales. What that means is that... People trooping in and out to buy the drug drugs and stay there and even smoke at it. No, it, somehow, it sounds somehow. Now, if Listen, you like I said, I said, so I let's said, look at it from another perspective, George. Is it possible that having that level of position can give one the power and the coverage? The coverage. To do certain you. things, knowing that it can be raided because of his position. I agree with you, yeah, because, because at that level, that you, you should have some securities within you. And at some intelligence level, as you well. Should, you should have some securities and some intelligence within you. But one thing is that, why I'm very, very surprised about this, is that a matter was handled in the plenary where he spoke against NDLA. Mm -hmm. So if there wasn't anything like this, it will, it will this have continue to be covered. Yes, it will, if there wasn't anything like it, it will continue to be covered. Mm. Probably covered because of the high-profile person no, involved. That, that, that also shows the complicity of the NDLA. Oh, yes, they, they are not even serving the Nigerian people. Means they are not serving us. So what, I'm, what I'm saying here is that mm. I cannot absolve the senator and his team mm -hmm. of being complicit. I will keep repeating it. I cannot absolve them because I do not have all the facts. That is why I said the law should take it. Let them investigate them. But if if there the is only evidence to show. But if there is evidence, because it is, see, if NDLA did not plan that, did not plan those drugs there, mm -hmm. if actually that place is a drug den where people have been coming in and out to buy, even the neighbors, the residents, we know. We know, we, 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 uh, we know how ba drug barracks are. We know how the people that come there are. So people will know. Let them carry out investigation. When you say people will know, that still brings um, another thing, because... Let's even look at these communities where terrorists, terrorism and insecurity is rife. The people in the community know their sons that who is. are perpetrating those crimes. Yeah. But they will not open up. They will not give information to the government or security agencies because they are scared that when they become whistleblowers, their lives are being compromised. The, the, there the is no guarantee. Also there is no guarantee that the security agencies will protect them. There is no guarantee. So they would not want to. Why? Why would you? Why would you be the scapegoat? Yes. 
you see the mentality. Mm -hmm. So when you say uh, probably this senator, the people around him, you know, people living around him, that community, because I mean, information, it's, and it's, it, definitely it will spread. They should know. German. Having knowledge of that, does that translate to giving information to security agencies, knowing that you might, your, your cover might be blown and you put yourself in the line of danger? And so your family as we, well. We all know that the security agencies, the police, the army sometimes give out some kind of, um, how do I call it? Incentives. Yeah, just, you know, for people to come forward to give mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. Sorry to say, when Don Wane was killed here, people gave information. About Don Wane? Those people ordinarily would not come out to do that for fear of their life. Mm -hmm. But when there was some kind of ransom yes. on his head, People gave information and collected that money. So if the security agencies want to work to unravel what we are talking about here, it will not take anything for people around the area to come out and say, you cannot tell me that everybody in that area is aligning with the senator to say, okay, let's say our senator said there must be opposition there. Who is armed with the information? And with this transfer, we will not even waste a second to divert, even come out publicly, even stand before, stay in a dock, assuming the matter is charged to court. To, get, to testify and give evidence again. People will do it. People will do it. So what I'm saying in essence is this. I am not absorbing anybody. I'm not equally, you know, saying that the NDLA planted it. All I'm saying is that the court know how to investigate this thing. The matter should go before the court and let the judge, you know, look into the matter and give judgment based on what is right. Mm. You recall that the NDLA also said that one of his boys has been um, prosecuted and also convicted. And not just the uh, a Lauren, Lauren, um, residents as well. They said that his hometown, the offer in his hometown, I hope I pronounced that correctly, mm -hmm. that there has been raids. And some other persons have been arrested as well. And they linked the, the, those people directly to the senator, saying that these people are the senator's boys. You know, my own is that, um, like George has said that uh, judiciary, but I will still say that the problem of Nigeria is anchored more on that on the judiciary. The judiciary should stand fame to give us good judgments and stop uh, complicating... Uh, Others. How, how are the and judiciary then, complicating others, others in this I instance? I know what I'm saying. And you hmm. know, you are saying uh, it's in the side of the politicians and uh, this and that and that. But one thing is that if truly that the senator, such thing is happening in his residence, is an accomplice. Is an accomplice. That means you should also be taken. So they should do their findings and do the right thing. So to stop these things happening, to stop continuity in the wrongdoings, that is all. All right. All right. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you so much, George, for coming on Open Conversation. You're it's welcome. always a pleasure having you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you very much. And thank you, uh, Honorable Wale, for coming. Interestingly, you and George, at the end of the day, spoke like politicians and agreed on one thing <laughs> towards the end of the show. It's, it's actually interesting. I'm not no, George, 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 George is not. George knows the truth. He knows the truth. You should tell Nigerians the truth. You know why you tell Nigerians the truth? My dear, Nigeria, Nigeria is a country run on the basis of rule of law. We have laws. We are not a banana republic. What you see as a truth is subjective. And that person may be saying it as wrongdoing. That, that is the truth. No, no, no. It is not. It is what, it, that is why I keep on saying that we have the judiciary. Mm -hmm. This matter is before them. Without fear or favor, they should dispense justice. Right. I've only said that. And because we'll get, we'll what you we'll see as a truth, justice. I may be seeing it as lie. So by the time both of us will not to tussle about it, it becomes an issue. Let the independent arbiter look into the matter that you mm. present to him, All I right. present to him, and they look at the matter based on the law and give their judgment. They should uh, give uh, the, law, the judgment based uh, on the law of course. that will also help in straightening things in the past. <laughs>